guys and uh, welcome to the unboxing of a Samsung S20, the 5G model. So I've currently got a Samsung S7 Edge. Now that is three years old and so it's going to be very interesting to see the differences between this and this. So there's three colours available. Uh, as you can probably see there's a hint of blue on the S20 here. Uh, I've gone for the blue version. The 5G, and I'm not quite sure why, only comes in three uh, colours. So the options are a very pale blue, a very pale pink, and a very, in my opinion, a very dull grey. It's kind of this sort of colour. So I uh, was put off that, even though I wear it, I'm not going to use it as my phone. So here we go, we're breaking the seal here. There we go. Right, the big reveal. So what do we get in the box? So let's take the phone out. So here we go. This is what it looks like when it comes out. God, that's uh, <laughs> shiny to say the least. Right, the big reveal of the back. The colour's rather metallic, isn't it? So uh, very, very nice, very reflective. Uh, I think the pink, as I say, is very similar, but the grey doesn't do anything for me. It's not like my old S7 Edge, which is just silver and shiny and, yeah, okay, there's a lot of fingerprints on it, but it is very shiny. Whereas the, the grey one is just matte grey by the look of it, which is very disappointing. So. If you want more colours, you have to drop the 5G part of the product and just go for the 4G option. Uh, if you go for the 4G, there's about six or seven different colours and they're all along the bottom now, hopefully. Um, I don't know why Samsung have taken this approach, uh, but yeah, it's just three colours and in my opinion, they're not the greatest of colours. The good thing right at this moment is that the, the 5G model is on discount, uh, certainly in the UK, uh, and is a lot cheaper than the 4G, uh, obviously to try and get people to buy into it. So what else is in the box? So it's not just about the phone, is it? So uh, we've got the, uh, the charger here. So uh, that pops up. To, to fit a, a UK socket and this is the uh, the fast charger super fast charging I don't know how quickly it charges but my uh, my old S7 used to charge in about an hour so what else have we got so this is the USB cable and uh, looks like it's the same each end one end goes into uh, the back of the uh, the charger there and of course the other end goes into the uh, the other end goes into the phone aha so we've got some uh, some headphones here some very unusual headphones uh, they're AKG ones. I uh, don't know how good they are, but we'll uh, certainly give them a go. And then some uh, some extra uh, ear pads. I'm not quite sure what you call them. So it looks like also we've got something here hidden away. I'm not sure what this is. I think I've just ripped it. Uh, Ah, so here's the uh, the pin for opening up your phone to put SIM cards in, etc. And I'm guessing this is all your warranty and everything. So that's it. Everything that's in the box, uh, all opened. There we go. Now what does that mean? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> so I assume it's waiting for 
something I understand. I haven't understood any of it yet. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is just going to open up in the language that of my uh, choice. Let's go. There we go. Right. So, as you can see, we've got English Australia, English Canadian, English Ireland, English United Kingdom. So it's uh, it's rebooted. I'm going to allow it to use my location. I know a lot of people uh, choose not to. And we're going to accept all that. We'll skip that for the time being. So, in conclusion, very happy with my purchase. Uh, love the colour. Far better than that dull grey I nearly bought, even though it would match my t-shirt. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, see you again soon.